Hello, my name is Allie Depew, and we are here today to talk about the American black bear. American black bears are one of eight species of bears found around the world that belong to the family Ursidae. The species name for the American black bear is Ursus Americanus, which in Latin means bear American. With that being said, can you guess where the American black bear lives? That's right. The American black bear is found throughout Canada, the United States, and parts of northern Mexico. In fact, in the United States, the black bear is in almost every single state. Well, except Hawaii. I think the swim is just much too far for those bears. Black bears are one of the most widespread and adaptable bear species found in the world. From a population standpoint, there are over six to eight hundred thousand black bears and still growing. Adaptable means that they have figured out how to survive and thrive in their habitats. And these are many different habitats that include forests, deserts, warm climates, cold climates, wild and populated areas. So how do you identify a black bear? Well, when asked, most people say, that's easy, they're black. Well, it is true that a lot of black bears are black, but did you know that they can also be brown or cinnamon colored? They can be kind of a pale blue, which is called glacier, or they can even be white. And some bears have a mixture of darker colors with the lighter colors. It's very common though for a black bear to have a V shape on its chest, which is much lighter. So you'll notice that I have my friend with me. This is Rocky Road. Rocky for short, and I want to tell you a little bit about Rocky. So Rocky is a bear that lived most of his life, well all of his life, in Montana. Um, remember how I said that black bears are very adaptable creatures and some of them live in wild places and some of them live in populated places? Well, unfortunately, Rocky decided that living in the neighborhood was a pretty good deal. And he discovered things like garbage cans and bird seed and after he had discovered those things, he discovered things like refrigerators and freezers that contained ice cream. He developed quite the taste for ice cream and after breaking into several refrigerators and freezers in people's houses, unfortunately Rocky had to be put down. If you live in a place that has bears, you need to be aware of what things attract bears to your house. Those things include bird feeders, dirty grills, hmm, garbage cans, let's see, chicken coops, all sorts of things that smell like a delicious snack. Don't forget dog food as well. Dog food is a huge attractant. So when we live in areas that are also populated by bears, we need to be careful and make sure that we pick up those things and put away those things that are attractants so that we don't have bears, like Rocky, coming into our neighborhoods and our homes. Black bears are pretty big creatures, adult males weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 to about 600 pounds. Females, they can be a little bit lighter, weighing anywhere from about 100 to 400 pounds. Now, when we're looking at the size of a bear, it can vary a bit as well too. So, generally, black bears are anywhere, and this is from nose to tail, from about 45 inches to, here we go, we're gonna keep going. Oh man, I don't even know if I can reach this high. Oh. 75 inches! Black bears have strong, curved claws. They're about two to two and a half inches in length. They use these claws for digging, climbing trees, and tearing apart things such as old logs. Black bears and brown bears do share some habitat. One of the ways to tell the difference between the two bears is that the black bear has a longer, more protruding snout. It also has taller, more pointed ears than a grizzly bear or brown bear. Black bears are classified as carnivores, but really they're omnivores, and they'll eat just about anything. In the springtime, they'll eat the emergent green plants. In the summer, maybe some fresh huckleberries with a few fish or maybe some meat thrown in here and there. Really, they're opportunistic eaters. That means they'll eat just about anything. Here I have Rocky's skull. I want to show you around this skull a few different areas. The first place we're going to start is at the back. This is the sagittal crest. 
The sagittal crest is important because it determines the force at which a bear can bite. Now, animals that have a higher sagittal crest, a larger sagittal crest, have a stronger bite. Generally, male bears have a slightly taller sagittal crest than females, giving them a stronger bite. Let's take a look at the teeth. Now, bears have three main sets of teeth. The first set of teeth are the incisors. The incisors are at the very front. They grasp meat, they tear it, but they also do things like clip grass and new growth off of plants. Next, we have the canines. The canines are for grasping prey. Bears also use these to tear up old logs in search of insects. We also have the molars. The molars are our grinders and they grind the food up, especially plant food. Now you'll also notice that black bears have a small space right here where there are no teeth. This is called diastema. And diastema is a spot where an animal can grasp something like a branch with leaves on it and pull it through their mouth, removing the leaves very easily. Bears do this with new plant growth as well as things like huckleberries and blueberries when they're ripe in the summer. During the summer, black bears enter a stage of hyperphagia or excessive eating. In cold climates, black bears need to eat a lot during the summer because they have to survive the cold winters without much, if any, food. During the summer and into the fall, a black bear will spend up to 20 hours per day eating food. They're consuming between 15 and 20,000 calories each day. That's like eating 35 hamburgers or 40 ice cream sundaes each day. Black bears are not great hunters. They are built for bursts of speed, but not long distances. It is much more likely that they will feed on an animal carcass than take down an animal on their own. Black bears are crepuscular. What does crepuscular mean? Crepuscular means that a black bear is most active during the morning and the evening. That's when it's going to be feeding and moving about. Remember those curved claws that I showed you on Rocky and how they're good for things like digging and tearing apart branches and trees? Well, they're also good for climbing. In fact, one of the first things that a black bear is gonna teach its cub is how to climb a tree. That way, if there's ever any danger, the black bear cub can climb the tree to safety. Speaking of bear cubs, did you know that cubs are born in the winter between the end of January and the middle of February? Usually, a mother will have a litter of one or two cubs, and she'll have cubs approximately once every two years. When a cub reaches the age of 17 or 18 months, it is self-reliant and able to leave its mother. While bears are predominantly solitary creatures, it is known that families will come together during the summer in an especially good feeding spot for bear family reunions. That's all the time that we have today. But before we go, it's time for Allie's final question. So, how does a bear stop a movie? Oh, I know. It hits the pause button. If you'd like to learn more about bears, visit us at inspiredclassroom.com and we'll see you next time. <laughs>